Hi, I'm Jens. I'm an engineer here at ANSYS. Let me show you about some of the new things we're adding into SDK 12.5. So in SDK 12.4, we added a new object, the satellite collection. It allows you to insert a lot more satellites than you used to be able to in, uh, in previous version, just the way it, it's handled in SDK. Uh, so you can load the satellites from a database, as I did in this example here. This is the entire catalog, which you wouldn't be able to load in from uh, SDK in regular SDK objects, in satellite objects. You can also load in uh, satellites as a Walker constellation or custom objects. For example, if you have a file of orbital elements or uh, an entire folder of ephemeris files, you can load those in. You can then use the satellite collection for uh, analysis where you uh, could have a lot of objects. So for example, coverage, you can use it for interference or deck access. In SDK 12.5, we're also adding the ability to use the satellite collection with chains. So let me show you some examples. I have this uh, simple satellite collection with just a walker type satellite. It uses two shells, a high shell at 3,000 kilometers and a low shell at 500 kilometers altitude. And each shell has 100, 100 satellites evenly distributed into uh, 10 planes. So you can now use these in a chain. You can see it shows up, um, so you can do multi-hops. In my example, I'm trying to do a link from a facility right here at our headquarters um, to somewhere halfway around the world. And you're going to need uh, several hops through the satellite collection to, uh, to get there. So you can either do, you know, in this case, from any satellite to any satellite to any satellite to multiple hops and get there, or if you have something a little more complex, maybe you have to upload and download data from the ground via the low satellite constellation and then go halfway around the world via the high satellite. So you can do that easily in chain. So you can do from the facility to the low constellation. Then let's say we're doing two hops through the high constellation. And then in order to downlink, go back to low and to the second facility on the other side of the world. So there's limitations to how complex you can do this in the GUI. It's just, you know, there's only each plane, each satellite, but you may have more complicated routing logics than, uh, than you can specify in the GUI. So in SDK 12.5, we will also add a routing file where you can specify your logic as complex as it may, as it may be. So you just go in your satellite collection, you specify the routing file. So here's a simple example just to show you. It has three parts. Uh, but you don't need all three parts. Maybe you only need one or two. So there's an incoming rule. In our case, it's just from the facility to any satellite in the low constellation. And you can use wildcards to specify um, if, which satellite you want if it's a, you know, a, a grouping. And then you can hop through um, the satellite collection. In our case, I just have it the, uh, the low constellation. Any satellite in the low constellation can talk to any satellite in the first plane. And then each satellite in the first plane can talk to the, uh, the one in front of it and the one in, in, uh, behind it. And then again, there's an outgoing rule where the low constellation can talk to the second facility again. So this limits the, uh, the number of, uh, of possible links that could happen. You know, with having a 200 satellites and doing multiple hops, you quickly get into hundreds of thousands of links, which slow down the computations. So with the, uh, the, uh, the routing file, you can limit um, the number of links to something more reasonable and keep the computation uh, within uh, something you want to wait for. So having satellite collections in chains and adding the routing file will be in SDK 12.5. If you go to ansys.com and check out the release highlights, you'll see what else will be added in SDK 12.5.